Alex, you've driven the, uh, the, the other Corvette up here. Or you brought the other Corvette with you, the ZR1. Yeah, it's, it's a great car, the ZR1, I think it's 647 horsepower. Um, it looks good in the grey, it's coming to the UK later on this year. Um, you know, it laps the Nürburgring quicker than a Veyron, so you've got an impressive bit of kit. It certainly is. Now, this, I'm told, is the fastest car that General Motors have ever made. Yeah, it's the fastest car that General Motors have ever made. And, um, you know, it's a real great muscle car when you get behind it. Um, you know, my dad's been driving it around um, up the hill, the Goodwood um, hill climb track, and, um, you know, he reckons it's, it's a good car and I think it will sell well in the UK. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you, you can't deny that seeing a Corvette sort of sends chills through you in terms of looking at it thinking it's just a wow car and I'm told it does 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds yeah it's obviously quick it's in the up there with the supercars and um, you know it's it's an awesome machine and um, you know it would be great if Corvette can really sell well in the UK and it can be um, you know recognised as good as um, some of the other supercars Absolutely. Now, in terms of your involvement, you're obviously driving with Chevrolet. How's your season going? Yeah, the Silverline Chevrolet Cruze, it's, it's been going well. We've got the car well sorted. Um, you know, Jason's been driving it well. He's currently second. Um, and, you know, we're just really, it's a learning curve for us coming in as a rookie. But, um, you know, we've been qualifying well. It's, it's trying to stick there in the racing and... Um, you know, after this break, I'm sure the second half of the season we'll, we'll be up there and getting good results for Chevrolet. What's it like having Jason as a teammate? <laughs> it's quite good. He's quite a character and um, it brings a lot of publicity to the team. Um, everyone wants his autographs, so then they kind of come to me and think, oh, I'll get his as well. And, um, you know, I don't mind that, but, you know, I think it's great that he's there. He can develop the car because he's a lot older than me and... Um, He's a bit wiser and knows what to do, so it's great to learn off him. Fantastic. Now, it's the first time you've been to the festival this weekend, isn't it? Is it the first time ever at the festival and the first time up the hill as well? Yeah, first time, so it's, it was quite nerve-wracking, you know, having to perform in front of all these people. But, um, you know, we got into it and it, it's quite a good track. It's, it's twisty, but it gives you an idea of what hill climb tracks are like and, um, you know, it's in a way it kind of suits the cruise so you know it was quite good and um i've really enjoyed it i mean it's it's a flat out run it's over pretty quick but there's no runoff at all i mean it must be quite a nerve-wracking thing to be doing yeah really we're just we're just going out there to demonstrate so i haven't been pushing but um you know a bit of wheel spin and smoke that's what the fans want to see and they certainly seem to love watching the cars going on up you're back up the hill later on today is that right it yeah, should be back on about five o'clock, so you know, watch out. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in terms of the festival, have you managed to have a good look round? Yeah, there's been some, you know, cars a long time before I was born, and you know, to look at them and see the mechanical side, it's it's quite amazing to think that people race them. It is absolutely incredible, but to be able to even see them there. We've had them on stand as well, people getting up close and personal. Well, I shall let you, I know you've got to get back and get ready for your run. Will you sign a few autographs for people before you go? Yep, it should be okay. Well, there you, there you go. Alex McDowell, thank you very much.